What is up, you guys? I am going to just simply walk you through a simple Facebook ad. Um, I'm going to, in this particular case, I'm going to be running an engagement ad. Um, this is an ad for an actual real estate agent. So she has a listing and we just want to get a ton of engagement and a ton of people commenting, liking, and sharing this property all within a 10 mile radius of where she's actually selling the property of the actual, you know, address of the location. So I'm going to just walk you through the simplicity of, of how you run this. So most of you guys should be aware of your ads manager. Um, you never want to run ads through your Facebook business page through boosting. So you never want to boost an actual post. You always want to come over here to your ads manager and run it in your ads manager. So I'm assuming most of you guys already know that. Um, and I'll just kind of take you through a simple process of, of how I set up the ad um, and, and kind of the three steps, which is what I call the three pillars, your campaign, your ad set, and your ads. Um, these are the three pillars, these three tabs here at the top. So I'm going to walk you through from point A to point Z to taking this ad live. So what I always suggest is I always suggest and recommend posting the actual ad on your business page first. So for example, in this particular case, let me take you to the actual business page. So whether it's a video ad um, and you're running a, an actual ad of a video, it could be anything, man. In this particular case, it's a real estate agent, but it could, it could be for anything, whether you're running an ad for a restaurant business, a chiropractor, um, or a freaking landscaper, a salon, it could be anything. The same strategy applies for whatever you're doing. But Hopefully you guys are running more video ads than anything else. That's that's a golden nugget you wanna you wanna kind of remember there. You want to do more video ads. You want to do more video post than than anything else. Um, so whether you're doing a video or doing um, an actual um, engagement ad, like if you come over here, let's go let's cr let's click on create. There's so many different objectives, right? we're looking at awareness, consideration, and conversion. So whether you're doing a traffic ad and you're trying to get people to click on your link to go to your website, or if you're looking to get people to click on your link and opt in to your, to your, to your email list, traffic is a good objective for that or conversion you know you're telling facebook we're looking to convert we're looking to convert these 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 um these viewers we're looking to convert this traffic and get them to do something and again that applies to getting them to fill out an email form an email form or getting them to buy something off your e-commerce you know shopify store or your amazon you know fba store conversion could be a good one um but these are all different engagements right or, or excuse me these are all different objectives engagement video views where i really focus a lot on and stay um con consistent with is engagement and video views so that's kind of the, the type of ads that i run a lot um I'm going to be testing more traffic and conversion, but I'm not in the e-commerce space. So I'm not really getting people to click on anything to buy something, but I am going to be scaling my social media agency and I'm going to be running Facebook ads to get people to opt in and buy an actual book that I just wrote. So I am going to start playing around with traffic and conversion to see how that plays out. But, um, my point is, is that no matter what you're doing, no matter what objective you're, you're, you're shooting for, you want to post it on your Facebook business page first or post it on your Instagram uh, profile first if you're, if you're shooting to run an Instagram ad. So in this case, it's this post down here that we're going to be running an, running an ad on. So you always want to take whatever you're trying to do, 
post it on your business page first. Okay. So with this client, I had her post the actual listing of the property. So we're going to go with it's this one right here. This one right here. So she posted it on the page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to, your, to our ads manager and we're going to run that exact post as an ad. So we're going to go with engagement. And what I do is over here to the left, you have campaign, ad set, and ad. And through each one, Facebook wants you to title it. So right here in the campaign name, what I normally do is I simply title it whatever I'm doing. So in this case, we are going to be going with 2350 State Road Unit 4. 2350 State Road number 44. So we're going to go with engagement and we're going to go listing. It's a listing. And then I'm going to put the client's name. And what I normally do, everyone titles it different, you know, but I, I kind of just, I already know what I'm, I'm, uh, my objective is. So I, I just kind of copy it and then bring it over to the next page. Now this right here is new. Create split test. A-B test your creative placement and audience. Ad delivery optimization. That's super, super new. Like Facebook, Facebook literally just, just um, um, added that yesterday. In fact, let me check this real quick, you guys. So sorry, running late. Let's, sorry, you guys. Okay, sorry you guys, that was a, an appointment that I have right now. Um, but she's running late, and, and, a, and a side note, a side note, here's a side note. Here's a side note, jot this down if you guys are dealing with clients. You don't wanna make it seem like you're always available. You have to make it seem like you're busy, because you should be busy. You should be busy either on appointments, closing deals, or running ads, or running your business, whatever you do, you should be busy, right? So, one, key tip whether you're in the sales business or you're building a business is you want to give off the perception that you're freaking busy like you cannot be at their mercy if they're running late to an appointment and and they're like for example it's 11:43 we had an appointment at 11:30 when she didn't show up for the appointment at 11:30 that's when i decided to cut this video and share some value with you guys because she was she was she was already running late and so some people that want to be nice could be like, oh, okay, and I've done this a million times. Or no problem, no problem, I'll wait, no problem, no worries, take your time. You can go that approach, but that's a soft approach. You got to message them back and say, hey, man, if you're not on the dot, or at least a few minutes, you don't want to be, you don't want to be a jerk at the same time, but you want, to take, you want them to take you seriously. You want to let them know that your time is valuable just like their time is, right? And so when you're that soft salesperson, you tend to get beat up. You tend to get ran over and taken advantage and your client doesn't take you seriously. You got to let them know that they have to appreciate your time. So when this lady just simply messaged me back saying she's running late, any chance we can do 4 p.m.? In fact, if you didn't catch it, let me pull it back up. So sorry, running late, any chance after 4 p.m. And you know what, I could, if I was really desperate, I could. But you know what, I think I do have that time booked anyways, but I, I don't know yet, I gotta double check. But again, to make it sound like I'm, I'm, I'm valuable and, and my time is precious and I am busy, I said, hey man, I'm not available until Saturday. And so now she's like, damn, and, she, and this is a client that needs me. This is a client, it's not a client yet, it's a prospect excuse me it's a prospect now dealing with clients is a little is a little different let me rephrase everything 
clients, you definitely got to give them your time. You definitely have to give them your time right away, right away. If they're a paying client, definitely give them your time right away. But a prospect, a prospect, this lady here is a prospect still, Bonnie. She is a prospect still. So I'm letting her know off the bat, hey, I ain't playing around. I ain't got no time to waste. We had a scheduled appointment. It was on both of our calendars. And shit happens, right? Shit happens. I got to give her the benefit of the doubt. Shit does happen. Things come up. I get it. But at the same time, I got my poker face on. You have to let these prospects know that your time is valuable and that you cannot just sit around waiting for them, you know? And, and so she already told me yesterday that it had to be today because she's busy um, tomorrow and the next day. And that's why I went for Saturday. Can we do Saturday? And so now when we reschedule this appointment, she will take it much, much more seriously and she'll make sure that she's there on that appointment right away. So make sure that you're giving up that perception. Your time is valuable. They need to take you seriously. Back to this. This right here, you guys, this is the ad we're going to be running, okay? So this right here, that's the title, that's the property, that's what I'm gonna name it, right here. So as I was saying about this part, this part's new, so I'll look into that later. Budget optimization. So right here, this is super new. And again, this just, this is really new. Like, this, they barely added this like yesterday. I seen this yesterday when I was glancing through it, but now I'm gonna really click on it and, and, and see what the heck it really is. And it looks like they're just giving us the opportunity to, to add our budget now, when before it was in the second pillar, which is the ad set, down here in the budget. It was, look, we're right here on the objective. Before, they didn't show us this until we were down here into the budget and schedule. Now they're showing it to us right away. So we're gonna start off this one at a very low budget, you guys. We're gonna go with $5 a day. Keep it super simple, super simple, $5 a day. Um, we're not gonna set a bid cap. We're gonna just copy this, the title, hit continue, bring it over to the ad set. Now we're in the second pillar ad set. We're gonna paste it. There we go there, engagement. So we know what type of objective it is. 2350 State Road, number 44. It's a listing for Sarah Graham. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna scroll through. Everyone in this location, you click on the locations. We got everyone in this location, people who live in this location, people recently in this location, people traveling in this location. This is a property. We're dealing with a real estate agent. We're looking for people in that location. And again, you, you got people that are relocating, right? You got people that are relocating from a different state even. But at the same time, that's a small percentage. That's a small percentage of the actual people that she's used to selling properties to. Most people that are buying houses in a given area are living in that area. They're, or they're living maybe, maybe five to 10 miles out of a given area, right? Very small percentage of people are, are, are coming from a completely different country and moving to this area or even a different state and moving to the area to a completely different state. There's those people out there and that's people who recently in this location or maybe people traveling, you can, you can potentially target those, but again, it's a small percentage. So we're gonna go with people who live in this location. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the address. Actually, you know what, I'm not gonna take the address, I'm gonna take the city. The city is Martinsville, Indiana. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put down Martinsville. Did I spell that right? Martins. Okay, Martinsville, Indiana, right here. And we're gonna we're gonna simply target now 25 miles, you know, Martinsville. We're giving Facebook the exact city. And we're saying, okay, here's the city, and they're showing us the circle, the radius. We want to we want to put a pin drop on the city, and then we want to target 25 miles north, east, south, and west. Now, 25 miles might be too far for this example or for this actual ad. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go 10 miles. We're gonna target 10 miles 
and if needed, we'll increase the budget and we'll increase the, the distance. But for, for this first runaround, we're gonna go with 10 miles. Now, homeowners, I get it how most people are actually, I get it how most people are actually running. Now, now again, this is an ad for a real estate agent. I focus on real estate agents, okay? Now, here's the deal. When you're listing a property, there's people that buy property, buy houses that are young, right? You got the young people that are, that are buying houses. But at the same time, let me send a quick text real quick, you guys. That was my baby mama who just called me, but I had to ignore the call. Just want to make sure. Okay, so I get it how there's a younger you know, group of people that, that buy houses. But again, we're spending marketing dollars, right? We're putting actual money into marketing. So we, we, kinda, we gotta kinda target a good, a good age group. Now I'm not hating on everyone that's under the age of 25, but at the same time, the majority of people that are really taking this seriously, really looking into property, really buying their first property, for example, are, are kind of at that, that's like the minimum age, 25 and up. Now, in this particular case, you got to know the product, right? You got to know the product. Our product in this case is, is a property. This could be a good property. It looks like it's a unit. It's a unit. It's like a condo type of property. It's a unit. So this could be a good property for for a first time home buyer which would be a younger a younger person you know in this 25 age group area or it could be a retiree it could be someone that's down selling down down yeah down selling they're they're selling their property to downsize that's the word they're looking to downsize so people that are in their 60s that could be a good age group to target as well so we're going to go with this one 25 to 60 we're going to target everyone men and women um now here's the thing facebook is changing a few of the keywords so you got to kind of homeowners demographics homeowners interest there's two different ones so we got a homeowner interest that one looks like it sticks this is what I was referring to. Homeowner, Facebook's changing a few of their keywords. So look at this one. Homeowners under demographics. We will be removing some detailed targets. So that one under demographics, that one looks like they're going to be changing to something different. But it's okay. Well, we can use it for now. Now we put the keyword in. Our keyword, again, you got to know who you're targeting. If you guys are selling products on Shopify or Amazon or your affiliate marketing, you got to know your niche, right? You got to know who you're targeting. So in this particular case, homeowner, that's the key word. That's who we're looking to target, whether it be a homeowner now or a future homeowner, you know, but we put in that one key word and then we can just hit suggestion and Facebook will give us all these other power keywords that will go with it that are relevant to that power word. So we're going to just simply choose a few of these ones and run with these ones. So first time home buyer demographics, this audience segment targets consumers who are likely to be first time home buyers. That's who we're looking for. Renters, people who rent their home. You know, you got renters that are looking to move as well and become homeowners. Now, again, these are all three words that it looks like Facebook will be removing and, and changing, but we can go with that for now. Likely to move. I think that's another one that's going to be changing. Zillow, we want to target people who have been expressing an interest on Zillow because we know Zillow, we know they've been looking at property. So homes.com, house hunting, we're going to just put a, a few of these, buying a house, an interest in buying a house, first time buyer, interest in that, interest in real estate, interest in buying and selling real estate. So these are all power keywords that Facebook is already giving me. So the thing about ads you guys here's the thing man you got to be willing to test you got to be willing to spend a little to really find your audience and to really find that next client or that next customer you don't want to spend your last dollar on facebook ads you have to have some type of comfortable budget because 
these different words you're gonna you're gonna want to play around with. You're gonna you're gonna run an ad. You're gonna look at it. You're gonna gauge it for three days, and that's that's where it all it all begins. It all begins with placing the ad, and then and then running it for three days and seeing what type of activity you're getting. If you're getting positive activity activity, you're gonna keep it going, and you may want to even increase it from five dollars a day to seven dollars a day, or six dollars a day, or ten dollars a day, depending on your budget. Um, so at the same time, there's not one exact keyword. There's not one exact ad for everything you're doing. You're gonna to wanna to play around with it until you find your winners. Um, but I've been doing this for a while, so these keywords are really good for the engagement type of ad that we're, that we're going for. So I'm gonna to keep these keywords here, you guys. Again, we're targeting a specific area. We're going, you know what, I'm gonna go a little further out. I'm gonna go 20 miles. I'm going to go 20 miles northeast, south, and west. 30,000 people. And that's the thing. You'll look at this potential reach, and sometimes you'll be in the hundreds of thousands of, 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 of reach. 300,000, 400,000, which is good if you're selling products, right? If you're selling Shopify or affiliate marketing or Amazon. Um, but in this particular case for a real estate agent, we want to be as narrow as possible. We don't want to market to everyone in the entire state or in the entire country. Um, we want to be very, very narrow. So we're going to focus on a 20 mile radius. Given the age, given all the keywords, we're now down to a potential reach of 30,000. That's what you call target marketing. That's very narrow. Um, which is, which is really good and that's what we're shooting for. So we scroll down, scroll down. Now here's the thing too in the placements. So now we're in the placements, ad set placements. Right here in the placements, you're going to want to edit the placement. Um, now in some cases you'll leave it at automatic, but automatic, you're telling Facebook, hey, I trust you, put the ad in every single, let me show you down here, this is where it's at. Actually, well, it's, it's not showing us right now, but it'll show me when I hit edit placement. Here we go. So if I leave it on automatic placement, Facebook is going to say, it's, it's, it's basically telling Facebook, okay, I trust you, place the ad everywhere on every platform, on everything that you guys do. But in reality, I don't want to do that because look, let's go back to, let's go to the home. When we're on our Facebook, you guys, whether it's the desktop or whether it's uh, our cell phone, 99% of us are simply focused on the middle section. This is the news feed. Shout out to Frank Kern, that's my mentor right there. 99% of us are looking at the news feed. We simply go down, we scroll down, and that's where our eyeballs are at, is on the newsfeed. Very rarely are we looking over here to the right-hand side. Now again, depending on your budget, depending on, on your objective, depending on, on, on how big you're really trying to go, then you may wanna just advertise everywhere, right? Because again, it's, it's all about your dollar bill. How far are you willing to stretch your daily budget? Do you want ads to show up on the right-hand side? Do you want ads to show up on different platforms like instant articles, which I, I mean, it shows you right here to the right hand side. So it'll show you, look, it'll show you the different places where they go, like suggested videos, marketplace, Instagram, audience network. You got the, the native banner and interest, interest to I don't even know how to say that damn word. Inter, interstitial, I don't even know what the hell that is, in-stream videos. So again, if you go with automatic, you're, you're telling Facebook, hey dude, place the ad everywhere, I got the money, let's freaking crush it. Which is a good attitude to have, but again, you gotta have the budget. So $5 a day, you may wanna take that budget up to 10, 15, $20 per day, go with automatic and just let Facebook run it everywhere. But in this particular case, we're starting small. We're starting with a $5 daily budget, right? And so 
we're going to edit the placement. We're going to, we're going to focus and narrow in our dollar to just the news feed where we know 99% of the people are looking and even us, you know, we're looking right there. So keep it simple and run it in the news feed. So I have to edit the placement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit, I'm going to leave it on just feeds. I'm going to uncheck instant articles. I'm going to uncheck in stream videos because it's not a video, it's a post. So we're running an ad on a post. So I got to uncheck all these videos because there's no video. I'm unchecking Instagram because we're not, her Instagram is not connected to this. So we're not running it on Instagram. Um, audience network, I want to uncheck that. And then, so now we're running, we're telling Facebook, hey, I only want it on the news feed. Now, right here, edit placement, that's how we got there. Device types. You can run it on just cell phones. You can run it on just desktops. Connected TV, which is new. We're going to just do it on all devices. So we're going to leave it all devices. We're going to scroll down, scroll down. And look here, specific mobile devices and operating system. You can choose to go just Android devices only, just iPhones only, few feature phones only. So that's crazy, right? Super precise targeting. We're going to leave it on all mobile devices. Run my ad set continuously starting today. We're optimizing for post engagement. You don't got to worry about any of this other stuff. We're going to hit, we're going to make sure we copy the title. So now we got the title for the campaign title for the ad set. Now we're going to go over to the third and final pillar, the ad, and we're going to title that as well. Hit continue. Now we're over here. Now I'm going to show you how we grab the post and run the ad on the post. Make sure you paste that there. We're going to run it on a, on an existing post. We're going to make sure we choose the correct business page. Okay, where is, there we go. That's the business page right there. And it's going to populate her existing post. We're going to select a post, which is this one right here. Just listed. There it is there. And we're done, you guys. Okay, we have no access to Instagram account. That's fine. We're not optimizing for Instagram. So that should be fine. Um, and so because we're grabbing the exact post from the actual business page, there's no text to edit. There's nothing else to do. Um, now, if you have your Facebook pixel, you know, installed, you can, you could track it with your Facebook pixel. But in this particular case, this is, we're just running this for a few days. So we're not going to need to track the actual pixel at this point. So that's for a whole nother video. So let's, Let's see if we can get past this error because we're not optimizing for Instagram. So we hit confirm. And we're good, you guys. So we'll be in the review process. So right here in the delivery, you'll see review. Give it a second. In review. So depending on how many ads you've been running, you know, you'll be in review for maybe, maybe well, like for example, me, I've been running ads for a while. So it'll after re, in review, it, it'll go to active within literally a few minutes. But if you're new to Facebook ads and you're new to your ads manager, it may take like up to an hour. Um, but the more you keep running ads, the faster your approval happens. So this will go into active status here in the next few minutes and the ad is live you guys. So what you want to do is you want to track it. You want to gauge it for, for three days and see the type of activity that you're, that you're getting. And if it's a positive, if it's a ton of activity, like in this case, we're running it for engagement engagement. We're telling Facebook, Hey man, we want people to engage. We want, we're looking for people that are, that are clicking like and commenting and sharing. We want that post to go viral. That's the engagement ad. So whenever you see a, a post that has thousands of, 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 um, 
of likes, thousands of shares, thousands of comments, even just hundreds. It's, it's, it happens from an engagement ad. This is the type of ad that, that, that tends to go viral. And then on the videos, when you come across videos, look, let me show you. When you come across videos in your newsfeed and they're actual ads and they have tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of, of, of views, like let's look, look at this one. Actually, this one looks sponsored. It'll say sponsored for one. But then this, this ad probably just went live. Ty Lopez, another one of my mentors, he probably just set this, live, this ad live. He just posted this to his, look, we go to his Facebook page. Look, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm giving you guys game right now. Look, he had to have just posted that on his business page today because normally his videos have thousands and tens of thousands let's go let's go with um, tens of thousands of views but that one just barely has a thousand okay so maybe that's just a, a whole new ad he didn't post it on his business page it's just a whole new ad but i know for a fact he just started that ad because it's barely at a thousand views but let me see if I can show you another one. Okay, we're looking for a video, a video, a video ad, a video ad. Where are all the ads when you need one? Whenever you see a video ad, you guys, that, have, that has tens of thousands, of views and hundreds of thousands of views, it came from an actual video view ad. Well, I can't find one, but hopefully you guys get my point. Video views is for video ads, and that's how you can scale it to hundreds of thousands of views, and that's what you want to do. The engagement post is when you see a post that has thousands of likes, thousands of comments. That's all done through an actual engagement ad, and that's what we're shooting for with this one right here. So hopefully that brought value to you guys. Run Facebook ads, and another tip, another side tip. Actually, it's not really a side tip. It's an actual tip. Just do more video, man. Do more video. Post more video on your Instagram. Post more video on your actual Facebook business page and run ads on your video. Run ads. The organic reach is old, like it's out. It's freaking outdated. It's gone with the wind. If you think you can just post on your business page and get a ton of engagement, you're, you're freaking, you're, you're, you're wrong. You absolutely have to run ads on your video now. And you don't have to spend a whole lot. So. We're talking pennies, man. Pennies to get thousands and thousands of people to see your content and see your message is freaking a joke. So social media is still powerful. It's going to remain powerful. But it is now the time where we're, we're shifting and your videos on your business page need to be ran through your ads manager in the form of an ad. So hope that brought value, you guys. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and an affiliate marketing business. So I'm super fired up about Facebook ads and online marketing. So if you're new, be sure to click subscribe. Give me a like if you find value. Um, and make sure you hit the little bell for notifications so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Um, Comment below. Let me know what type of business you're building and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. And whatever you're doing online, you have to be building some type, you have to be using some type of platform. Click on the link below, watch the 27 minute video on Kartra, profitwithkartra.com. The link is below. If you're selling anything online, you guys are going to flip out when you see how powerful that platform is. Profitwithkartra.com. Click on the link in the description and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.